to class, everybody. I am Miss Katie, that vegan teacher, and you have entered that vegan teacher school, the school of life where we're going to learn the truth. Yeah, the truth. We don't lie over here. We don't lie to kids about Santa. We don't lie to kids and pretend that the Easter bunny exists or the tooth fairy. We don't pretend any of that stuff. We don't pretend that Jesus walked on water. We are here to tell the truth. Today, we're going to be watching a little show. It's called Coco Melon. And we're going to be looking to see if they're telling the truth over there. So what we're looking for in this presentation, because it's called Old MacDonald Had a Farm, we're going to hope to see a bunch of different crops, right? Because there's no animals on farms anymore. I mean, 99.9% .9 of all of the food that is eaten comes from factory farms, where these poor animals endure the rape, torture, confinement, sadness, enslavement, and murder that is doled out to them by horrible humans on this planet. And most of you are those horrible humans. Most of you are part of that cycle of violence. But hopefully, the more you hang out here, the more you will realize you should be a good person and you should stop paying for it all, right? That is the goal. So we're looking for them to be showing these kinds of foods and many, many others. There are thousands and thousands of things that Coco Melon can show us that the farmers are hopefully growing these wonderful crops. Now we've got lentils, chickpeas, brown rice, oats. We've got peanut butter. Well, you can't grow peanut butter, but you can grow peanuts and then make peanut butter. Kale, spinach, bok choy, bananas, blueberries, dates, tahini, walnuts. Tahini, of course, is another thing that is a uh, ground up sesame seeds. So you make the sesame seeds, grow those in the earth, and then you can make tahini from that. And walnuts, carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, tomatoes, avocado, garlic, chia seeds, flax seeds. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So we're really hoping that Coco Melon is going to tell the truth to kids because that is the goal here at That Vegan Teacher's channel. Here, this school, we don't lie to kids. We want everybody to stop lying to kids. So let's have a look at this presentation and see how it goes. You guys ready? I hope so, because we're going, whether you're ready or not. Coco Melon! Okay, I see a farm. <laughs> Clouds. So far. McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on, on that farm, he had, had some broccoli. Are they going to say broccoli or kale? What do you think it's going to be? I'm all ready. I'm all ready to give a nice check mark to Coco Melon. Hopefully they're gonna tell the truth to kids. Oh, please let them tell the truth. E -I -E -I -O. E -I -E -I no. No, 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 no. X. Ah, oh, Coco Melon, pigs don't belong on a farm. And this isn't even the truth. The vast majority of animals are kept in tight, confined places, in Holocaust-like conditions. What are you doing? We are into the video. How many seconds? 27 seconds and you're already showing this? What does it say here? Baby is visiting his grandpa on the farm and having so much fun learning about all the animals and the sounds that they make. Okay, so we're going to learn the sounds that animals make. That's okay. Hopefully you're going to hear the screams in agony as they have their necks chopped off and as the poor pigs are shoved into gas chambers because that's the reality. And hopefully Coco Melon is going to tell the truth to the kids. Let's see. Okay, yes, pigs do oink, but they do not exist this way. And even if they did, it is wrong. It is wrong to exploit animals. So I'm giving you an X. How many pigs were there? At least two. Two X's. I didn't see. I'm going to keep going, though. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. What is going on? No, 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 no. Sheep do not belong on a farm. What are you doing? Cutting this poor innocent sheep and stealing that. 
You know, that looks like cauliflower. Now, if that was cauliflower, I would have given you a check mark. But you're cutting the wool off of an animal who is imprisoned there. This animal can't escape. And this is actually not even the way it happens in real life. X. In real life, sheep are kept by the hundreds and sometimes by the thousands. They are treated as a commodity. They're treated as an object. And when they are shaved, it is done in such a fast fashion that they are shoved down and someone comes with a razor really quickly and often they are full of blood. They're bleeding. It is horrific. That's what happens. And that's why you shouldn't buy wool. Don't buy wool. And don't believe this. And stop teaching kids lies. Stop lying to kids. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> Oh, please tell me that he's going to walk to the field now and he's going to show a field full of potatoes and carrots and other organic foods. What do you think are the odds of that? Maybe some onions, maybe some garlic. Would that be great? Let's cross our fingers, everybody. Let's say a prayer to the God that doesn't exist. Dear God, please make Coco Melon tell the truth to the children. Please show us right now some healthy veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds that are being grown. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's see if our prayer works. Come on, God. You know I'm on your side. You know I want to have a better world. I, actually, I don't know whose side you're on. I, I think, let's, let's face it, everyone. Let's, let's tell the honest truth, okay? God, God's got no more powers. God is, you know, impotent. God is not able to do much at all. I mean, if there is a God up there, God's kind of like watching and just being like, you know, I, I gave up. I gave up a long time ago. You guys are kind of on your own. We're on our own down here. That is why we, good people, have to summon the strength to roll up our sleeves and help the innocent animals on this planet and save their lives. And that's why I'm here hoping that all of you will become vegan. Now, what's really important is that you learn the truth. Uh, and how you're going to learn the truth is going to... what I got I got this uh, some little cards here. I'm gonna, I want you to do this. I want you to watch this video here. It's called WatchDominion.com. Memorize it. WatchDominion.com. Go and see this. Now, I'm going to talk about this all the time. You're going to be so tired of me talking about it. But you need to know what actually goes on. You want to see what really happens? It's here. And if you don't want to see what really happens, go anyway. Because you have to know what's going on. You parents, stop putting your head in the sand. Teachers, school principals, school boards, everyone, watch this. And make sure every single teenager watches this. And kids should know the truth. Obviously, we don't have to show them directly what's happening. But all the parents should know. And they should be making sure that kids know that this is a lie. This is not the way it is nowadays. Old MacDonald had a heart, E-I-E-I-O. And on this farm he had a cow. Inappropriately. What are you doing stealing from the cow? This is complete BS. X! That is disgusting. Why would you teach a child to touch a cow inappropriately and steal from them? And no, that is not how cows react. Cow's milk is for baby cows. You know? It's like cat's milk is for. That's right. Baby cats. What about dog milk? Dog milk is for. That's right, baby dogs, right? And cow's milk is for? No, it's not for humans. Humans should not be drinking milk past infancy. And if they need milk, go and take the milk from your mom. What the heck are you doing underneath a cow? Stop stealing from animals. This is awful. And teaching a child to do this, how horrible. And in this fact, this isn't even the way it happens in real life. In real life, the way it is, is these cows, these females, are forced to be pregnant against their will. They are put into something called a rape rack where they can't even turn around, they can't make it stop, and they are forced to be pregnant. And you know where they get the sperm? They forced the male to also be pinned down, they rubbed his penis until the sperm came out and then they stole it and they shoved it into her. This is the truth. So why are we lying about all this stuff to kids? Why? Because the parents suck. You parents suck. You're too lazy to stop eating the flesh 
and the eggs and the secretions of animals, and so you just keep this lie going on, but it's wrong. And after that, the baby boy cows are murdered. They have their throat slit. They are killed because humans want to steal the milk. And people are always saying, oh, but we have to milk the cows. No, you don't. You leave the babies with their mothers, right? You know, kind of like when your mom had you. There's no strangers that came up and said, oh, we have to milk your mom. Uh, no, your mom's milk was meant for you. All right. And the other thing is, if people say, well, now these cows have been bred to give so much more milk than they used to in the old days. Well, hello. Here's the solution. Stop raping them into existence. Stop breeding them. Oh, please, what are they going to show now? What do you guys think? What are the odds? Are they going into a barn? What could be in the barn? Oh, sprouts. Sprouts. I bet you they're going to have a bunch of mung beans, and they're going to have different types of oats sprouting, and maybe some kamut seeds. Who knows? We don't know. Maybe little broccoli sprouts, you know, little jars. That would be great, wouldn't it? Or little, little bits, little containers with some soil in there. Oh, please, make it happen. Dear God, take some Viagra and make it happen. Fences. What the F is going on? X. We don't put animals in, in barns. We don't put them there to confine them. They should be out free with their families in the wild, breeding naturally, ha having the ability to go and put their feet in some water, drink when they want to, eat when they want to, run when they want to, not when some human decides that it's time for them now to get their exercise. It's BS. X to you. It's awful. I get so angry with this. What is wrong with people, seriously? Do you know what they do to horses? I get people all the time from Australia trying to tell me, they say, can you please do some videos about the horse racing that goes on here? And they say in Australia, I'm here in Montreal, and they say it's awful. I mean, hundreds of horses are killed every year because when they're, they're forced to run into, in races, they break their legs and they just shoot them in the head. They put this whole screen up so you can't see it, and then they shoot them. And do you know what happens here in Canada? Hundreds of horses are forced onto airplanes. They go overseas where people murder them. Can you imagine? What on earth would possess anyone to put a horse on an airplane? Can you imagine how terrified how bewildered, how betrayed those horses must feel. It is awful what goes on. And that's why I tell you all the time, you must watch the important documentary to find out everything that's going on in these industries. Watch dominion.com to learn the truth. And then feed your children only vegan foods. And if you show them this, tell them, this is the way it used to be a long time ago, and it was wrong to treat the animals this way, and now we are working towards a vegan world. Okay? That's what you should be telling your ki the kids. And I don't see Coco Melon saying anything about that. I don't see Coco Melon talking about factory farms. I don't see them in their song. This needs to be updated, this song. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I, -E go vegan. Something like that. are running around because they don't want to be eaten. That's why. Don't keep ducks on a farm. Ducks are not objects. And do you know what foie gras is? Do you know what foie gras is? Foie gras is a kind of pâté that the rich people eat and sometimes the people in uh, all different places. You know when my husband has a, a dinner convention or whatever at a hotel, there's always like foie gras on the menu. It's, it's the stuff that you're supposed to spread on bread. And you know what it is? It is the liver of ducks or geese that is forced to grow because they shove a giant tube. So picture something like this, but even longer, and they shove it down their throats. 
It's big. It's long like that. It's made out of metal. And they force feed these poor innocent animals because they want their livers to grow incredibly. And then they murder them and then they dig out their livers and they chop it up and put a bunch of spices on there and then they call it foie gras. The animal abuse that goes on is horrific. So go ahead and Google it yourself. Type down the truth about foie gras or go to PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. They have all kinds of videos that will tell you the truth. Undercover investigations. And once again, this video is something that you should be looking at. WatchDominion.com. Don't worry. Stay calm. Go to WatchDominion.com. Okay? Just stay calm. Go there. Bring a pen and a, a pad of paper and write down all the animals that you see and what we do, the amount of cruelty that we do to the animals. Write it down and then write it in my comment section. <laughs>
right? Women are also able to have far to farm. Oh, McDonald had a farm, and on her farm, talked about that a little bit. All right. Stop paying for murder, everyone. Don't pay for murder. Be vegan. Be vegan. From now on, you can do it. Coco Melon, you fail. Unfortunately, it's just the way it is. Again. Everyone, I want to thank you for being here. Keep sending me your suggestions of different channels that you think that I should review. And also, you guys yourself, be animal defenders. All right? Press the notification bell. After you subscribe, see the subscribe button down there? See it? Look for it. I'll wait. No problem. You see the subscribe button. Okay. Tap it. And then you'll see beside it there's a bell. So press the notification bell. Help me get these animals out of hell. Thank you. And coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Have a look at them. Be curious. Look around that vegan teacher's site here. Check it out. There's all kinds of stuff in the past. I've already reviewed Coca Melon a few times. I've reviewed Mr. Beast, um, Darman, SS Sniper Wolf, all kinds of animal abusers, uh, Gordon Ramsay, and I have also uh, reviewed amazing animal rights activists. So have a look at all that. Thanks for being here. And please try your best to be vegan from now on. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to everyone who's decided that this is going to be their day. So proud of you guys. Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs>